What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Amaka, and if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome back. So, in today's video, I'll be showing us every detail of my bridal makeup. This was my Saturday bride, and I filmed everything, and I'm here to show you guys how it went and how I did it. So, I started with using my Mesilla water to clean her face. And then I went over to my sweat block, using my sweat block to damp on her face. You know she's a bride and I'm trying so hard to make sure that she doesn't sweat all throughout the day. So that her makeup will be intact and won't go anywhere. So that's what you can see me doing. And after that, her brows were a little bit bushy. So I had to use my razor blade and my spoolie brush to carve it out. So as just like I taught us the other day how to cover our brows, I started from the upper part of my brows and then I kept brushing up and carving, you know. But I still had to let the brows to still be full. I just did a little bit of shaping because the makeup the, it doesn't require me to use an eye pencil, so I had to use only an eyebrow gel. So I had to still allow the brows to be full. So after that, I went over to using my moisturizer to moisturize her face and i'll be doing that with my nuban beauty foundation brush as you can see i'm damping it into her skin so after using my moisturizer we now went over to using my my face primer to prime her face first and i'll be using my hand to apply this And after using my face primer, I missed out her foundation shade and then I'm applying her foundation. And I'll be using my brush, my foundation brush from Nuban Beauty first. Then after using my brush, I'll be going in with my beauty blender as usual. And with my beauty blender i will be tapping in to make sure that everything is well set and in like tapping the foundation into her skin so everybody everything will come together and look more natural and she's a pregnant bride so her neck was kind of darker and i had to use my foundation to touch a little bit on her neck and then use my beauty blender to blend it out as well so after that i'll be using my concealer palette to highlight her face and as you can see i'm using a concealer shade that is about a shade to two shades lighter than her skin tone to to highlight her face and then i'll be using my beauty blender to blend that out as well Then after that, I'll be using the darker shade in that uh, in my concealer palette to contour her nose and her face as well. And to apply that, I'll be using my my concealer brush from Bobbi Brown to apply it. Then after that, I'll be using my beauty blender to still blend that out. And don't forget, we are always I'm always blending upwards in order to. Give, give that face a facelift as usual then I'll, I'll use a smaller beauty blender to blend out the nose now I'll be going in with my setting powder the bride asked for a light makeup so I won't be baking her face I'll only be setting with a little bit of the powder and that's what I did then after that I went in with my last glue from classic classic makeovers i use it to lay down her brows a little bit then i now use my brow gel from nuban beauty to brush her brows upwards to give that natural look that we're looking for so i couldn't let the brows be just like that so i used the lighter pencil the middle shade of the nuban beauty pencil brow pencil to I'll slide her brows a little bit. It wasn't so noticeable, but at least it gave it this natural look and simple shape. Then I still use my concealer brush from Nuban Beauty 
with a, a, a concealer that is about two to three shades um, brighter than her skin tone to conceal her brows and give it a better shape then after that I use the same foundation that I used for her face to clean out the upper parts of her brows and as you can see I'm taking my time not to make much any much mistake or clean out the brows that I already drew and then same way I'll be going over to the other eyes and I'll do the same thing And remember whenever you are using your concealer to clean out your brows you always have to take it bit by bit so that you don't make so much mistakes then after that i i use my setting powder to set her her shadow area she she didn't need an eyeshadow so after setting it i just used a little bit of a baby pinkish set from my nude palette to apply on her eye eyelid right so after that i now use my mascara to raise her lash a little bit because she didn't want any false lashes and she didn't want me to use an eyeliner on her face so after that i'll be using the darker shade in my powder palette and I'll be mixing it out with a little bit of a brighter shade because I didn't want it to be so dark and I'll be using it to contour her face you know she's pregnant and her face is kind of fat so I needed to make it look a little bit smaller and after that I'll be using my blending eyeshadow blending brush from Nuban Beauty to do her nose contour and then I'll be using my powder brush to apply my powder and my powder brush is actually from Nuban Beauty so I'll be using a lighter shade of the powder to to apply on the places on her t-zones the places I highlighted with my concealer don't forget and then after that I'll use a powder that is her normal skin color to apply it all over the other places that is remaining to blend everything out and give us that all together look then after that i'll be using a, a nude lippy from the shiny ones that i have i got from zikel cosmetics to apply on her lip and then i'll start out i'll start by lining out the lip with the same lippy And then after that, that was all my bright love to makeup and that will be all for today. Bye.